season, Mela has lined up some fabulous celebrity guests and the focus won't be on the glitz and glamour of their professional lives. We want to discover the person behind the public persona. And this week, we're meeting Jerry Rancelli Alston and her daughter, Priyashka Lachman. When Jerry Rancelli Alston was asked what advice she'd give her 21-year-old self, she didn't think twice before answering, have more fun. Catch her today with her foster daughter, Priyeshka Lachman, and you'll see that Jerry is very serious about that tip. And she's making the most of every moment, whether she's in the public eye or picking avos in the orchard of the family home. She's brimming with inspiration, and you can see she has a clear idea of what she wants, as could be seen in the way she was visualizing a new creation when Zaki arrived. Hello, 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 ladies. Hello, Zach. In the middle of something, I'm bothering you. Nice to meet you. We were just talking about what this beautiful sari is going to become. What is it going to become besides a sari? Yeah, well, that's that's the jerryfied story. What does it mean to jerryfy something? Well, it seems as though this part of the sari is going to become a kimono sleeve. So what inspires you to turn a sari into a kimono and all of these amazing creations? Textures and colors. What happened is I unrolled the sari and of course there's this front embroidery part. And as the fabric gets unrolled, suddenly, kapow, party in the back. <laughs> There's a party in the back, and as if that's not enough, I unroll it a little lot, and I end up with some polka dot. Oh, amazing. Jerry, how would you describe your personal style? Oh, eclectic. There is nothing that Jerry's afraid of wearing. The more color, the happier I am. And are these marvelous and wonderful creations just for you personally, or do you have bigger plans for them? I created the Jerry E. Signature Collection, but for the last while I've been creating just for myself okay. and my daughters. They're my muses. So I have my samples. I've grown in confidence as a creator. I wouldn't call myself a designer. And now that my, I'm right where I want to be, it's time to launch. So where does your range go? We're thinking of going online and we're talking to a few boutiques about ensuring that they keep the label out there. This number is absolutely amazing. You have got to tell me how this creation came about. This is in fact a Thai sari, a royal Thai sari um, that I bought on a visit to one of the royal palaces of, in Thailand. So in the back what you'll find is the wrap of the sari and this would be the dupatha that you yeah. throw over your shoulder. So I'm all about taking what already exists and saying, well, what can it become? Speaking about one of your muses, I would love to meet Priyeshka. Priyeshka is in the house. In fact, I think she's preparing lunch for you. For me, I'm so spoiled. You are very spoiled because she never prepares lunch for me. <laughs> Maybe after that she can fit a thing for you or two. <laughs> 20-something Priyeshka had no dreams of becoming a model. Things changed when she turned 13 and walked the ramp for the very first time. Priyeshka, this smells amazing. I hope you like it. Beauty, brains, and she can cook. I mean, the whole package. She had a good tutor. Priyeshka is my youngest, and Lehato is my older daughter. Pri was born in Durban. Her biological mother is Rani Naidu, and Pri won a competition called Face of FTV, and she was underaged. And so her mother had asked that my husband and I please co-parent. I've never had my own biological children. What I got was the opportunity to parent, and what they got was a mother who also, along with their biological parents, truly love them. What are some of the challenges of fostering children? Not having been with them from a very young age means that you don't have knowledge of all their characteristics. You don't know walking in what makes them happy, what makes them sad, what gets them angry, and what their favorite meals are. And you have to take your time getting to know all those things. Pri, what is it like having a TV personality, celebrity, humanitarian as your mother. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, we both look up to my mom in so many aspects of her life and she's one of those rare women that just excel at everything that she does. And for us, it's really inspiring and something that we can look up to. Free, how does your mom inspire you? She has such a great heart and such a giving person. And she's also taught us to be that person as well, to just help anyone and everyone and just just have a helping hand. Sherry, how did you feel when Pri wanted to enter Miss Essay? She wrecked my nerves. She literally said, um, 
So the Miss SA auditions are tomorrow. What do you think I should wear? Priyashka aced the audition and went on to secure a spot among the top 12 finalists. My question to you this evening is, what advice would you give to your 11-year-old self? The advice I would give to my 11 year old self is nothing is impossible. The road ahead is very tough, but anything that you have your mind to, you can achieve it and go there and get it. Healthy eating is part of Priyashka's self disciplined approach to life, but this doesn't mean that either her cooking or her lifestyle is in any way bland. Going back to Miss Essay, why did you decide to enter? For me it was a great opportunity to move away from the family business and the model industry and to gain fresh and new perspectives. What was the experience like for you? The experience was absolutely amazing. I've gained so many friendships with the girls throughout the competition and I've really grown and become so mature. My mom <laughs> can even back me up on that one. Pri, you're just about to get a degree in business management. Where to from there? For me there's many things on the list right now. Mom is mentoring me to become a TV presenter. Also I'm considering internationally modeling again, so we'll see where to from there. We've watched her grow in leaps and bounds over the last while. I actually didn't quite recognize her sometimes and uh, she's made me so proud. Speaking about pride, Jerry, what have been some of your proudest moments in the industry and your career? Being able to step out of the township of Mitchell's Plain, understanding that from the moment I stepped into a lift with Mandela and um, his then wife, uh, Winnie Matikizela Mandela, I knew that my destiny was way greater than me. Moving forward in South Africa, what message do you have for South Africans. We need to remain focused on what is good, on what is pure, and what is sound about us as South Africa. We're a joyful people, and so we must begin to think of ourselves as being the calm inside of the current storm. That's who I choose to be. How do you and Pri spend quality time together? We go out and eat together, but even here at the house, just being outside, quiet, together is great time spent with us. One thing she does used to drive me crazy. She used to, <laughs> oh, she used to put her head in my lap and then she'd take my hand and she'd put it on top of her head. And that was kind of, rub my hair please. <laughs> just, just, just scratch right there. Um, and I've learned that it's the one thing that I need to do for her to make her feel like, you know, she's, she's, she, she's home. But the other thing we love to do is play dress up. We really, really do. I think we should play dress up all together. Yes. Yes. Do you agree to dress up too? Mm. Let's go. Agree Yay. To dress up too. She's in. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So this is the sari dress. And these are kimono sleeves. Kimono, okay. geisha sleeves. Okay, geisha sleeves, geisha sleeves. Know. Geisha sleeves. Absolutely. Okay. Pre, that's for you. And this is what I'm making for this winter. It means there's colour without yes. you having to make much effort. I hate winter fashion. Why don't you two go and get into that for me? I can hear they're having a lot of fun, so I think they're ready. Girls, please, let's see you. Wow, look at this. Oh, you look beautiful. Come on over. How's the air up there? <laughs> That skirt does look good on you though. Makes those legs look really terrific. I'm gonna come play dress up here all the time. Oh, you should. <laughs> it's what they do, so uh, why not one more child in my house? I'm loving this on you. I know you're also a little bit of an extremist. You climbed Kilimanjaro. I actually became quite active when I turned 40. I decided that I would climb Kilimanjaro as part of my humanitarian causes, and I summited in both 2015 and 2016. Now, the message there from me as a mother is that there was so much more to us, and it doesn't matter what age we are, we can still inspire our children to be greater. Brie, what message do you have for your mom for Mother's Day? Mom? First of all, thank you for being the beautiful woman that you are. I know not just me and my friends, but a lot of South Africans look up to you and aspire to be you one day. And yeah, thank you. Child, my child. <laughs> and Jerry, what is your Mother's Day message? None of you actually want to think that you're like your mothers. Uh, you like to believe that you're carving your own path and that they have nothing to add to your lives. But it's the best reflection you have for who you will be as mothers. So look at us as your mirrors and learn.